nose, I'm trying to find my reason. Lay it out on the line, ain't no looking back. Giving my all with no strings attached. Can't run the bottom, roll through the cracks. Spotlight on you, but how you gon' act? I remember sleeping with my ribs touch. I remember sleeping with my ribs touch. You can fold it, you can stand firm. I'm a real one, so I ain't concerned. I'm fully built for this life. I think I earned all my stripes. I don't believe all the hype. Get back on my feet and get right. Watch you work, watch him hate, watch him lurk, pack, relate, watch you skirt, out the mud, out the dirt. Gate on sight, red breed, red tight, set the bar, take flight. Yeah, I've been grinding since I'm young and they told me my timing was coming. I've been hustling with no fun and forget all the fame, get the money. I'm out of that lay where it's sunny. I've been eating since I'm young and since we ain't had food in our tummy. The life we was living ain't funny, but you could not take nothing from me. Put that on my mama, my daughter, my cousin, my brother. I'll show you. Way better than I can tell you. The type of dreams that they say. That's why I learned from my failures. Don't do the handouts or the favors. Told my brother I'ma get this paper. Was left behind, I'll see it later. To keep it real, you don't need to wait up. Lay it all on the line, ain't no looking back. Give him my all with no strings attached. Can't run the bottom, roll through the cracks. Spotlight on you, but how you at? I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. Now I get it to go. 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 I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. Now I get it to go. Sleeping with my ribs touched. Nah, I get it to go. Nah, I get it to go.
yeah, we here. Yeah, yeah, this the winning team. Six rings with a pinky ring. Everybody used to pick at me, now I'm the one that they picking. Snake shout, they hit scene, but I can't hear it when the crowd screams. Still balling like an offspring. This for all the ones that doubted me. Gotta lose once to be a true winner. Only want the hunters with the blues in them. Eating blood across it where the blood dinner. Juice stay turned like you know. I've been through that water like Olympic swimmers. Only bread and butter, what we ate for dinner. So I had to dream it till the dream is bigger. Only want the gold, we don't need the silver. Gotta be number one. Number two never count. Used to have bubble guts competition, now pouring them out. Making my babies proud, wanna cop my mama a house. Coming straight out the south, got enough juice to end the drought. Yeah. I buy like, I buy like 23. Won't fall again and I put that on me. Yeah. I feel the way my heart. Spin the block around just like the hands on the clock. Come like a bat of the hell, I dare you to cross like a revenant. My energy paralyzed, I'm like a finger 11. Take a second, I'm finna send it like a parent. A mess, you the best. If it ain't me, then you need you a confession. You a mess. Uh huh, you ain't scary to me. I heard you was the leader, but that ain't apparent to me. Put dust on you, like cheetah, run up and I'm there in the scene. And I feel just like Vegeta Prince, and I'm an heir to the seat. I mean, for real. Touch the driver's sauce so I don't even grab the wheel. That's a lot on my chest, but it don't mean the man is still. I mean, I'm walking with some money, man. I mean, a couple mail. <clears throat> I'm feasting in the field. That's why I'm always cheesing, cause I feel like Uncle Phil and all this loose thing. The first minute ain't half the man as well. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. You like the hands on the clock, I go back to bat when I'm doing numbers. All the mad that I'm driving the bus, so they threw me under. Heard they mad they don't wanna bust, so they boo each other. Think that they're the winning team, go losing, and then they choose another. And that's okay, cause I'm competing with me, not you. I live a blessing, like I can't stop sneezing, not you. Well, I hate to break up on me and myself, top two. I blow away the competition like a ball of hustle. And there's no catch. I go and get the bag, and I'm not bringing it back. I'm like a down QB. I put the pain in the past. And if you ever had a problem, promise I didn't ask. So it's 444 in the car, my dash. I shake a big toe to mall. You went first, you last. Little boy, that's facts. I'ma pour that cash to my money. They don't know my name. I get through the pain. Taste sweet on my face like it's lemonade. Tie me up in chains. I get through the pain. Taste sweet on my face like it's lemonade. They say fall and you let go But I know I got an antidote To retain some kind of self-control Look inside my head through a telescope You erase all the calls from a telephone No sense of smile, maybe tell a joke Holding back your tears, singing minimal Syllables 
Yeah, look at me, out of the asylum. Was a fate or mistake? Cause the time ain't up. Yet a part of my mind don't get much love. If you want in my head, come and call me up. You look like a twisted Robin Hood. Yeah, you take from the rich and the poor and us. Wearing diamond shoes where you walk your pugs. In a town you could rate where there ain't no love. Where do I go? Reflux, I drip out from the socket to a teacup, drink up inside, look when they peep us. Choose us in the belly of the beast, but outside there's a war going on on your front lawn. Black hawk, see the red dawn horizon. Blind yet I'm rising, abiding by laws of attraction, my thoughts still rising. Thank you. What type of knowledge don't sink in? Life gives you lemons and my only thought is drinking. Thirsty, will I be alive or dead before 30? That's all that concerns me early. Lemonade quenching my inner rage when it takes center stage, way before they pouring on my grave. Been it made, let it set my soul ablaze on each and every way. Put me in the water for the save. They don't know my name. the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago where the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. Here's the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. Wins. Left side here to Sanders. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. First nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh. He just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From midfield, here's Wentz. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first down, Sanders not finding a whole lot as he'll get forward for about three. 
Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Wentz's throw taken in by Sanders. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Here's Wentz to throw. Goodwin able to haul it in. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. How about to start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Leads to second and goal at the Bucks' three-yard line. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. And goal. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. Intercepted. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at the 45. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Brings up second. You often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up the throw. It's caught oh, by Mike back. Evans. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Complete to Mike, Evans. Mike Evans, 46 Touchdown, yards. And the Bucs have taken a first quarter lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post round? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Eagles. Extra point up and good by Suckup, and it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, 
They want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, out is the putter, Cameron Johnston to boot it away. Back deep, Jadon Mickens. This is taken That's around the 12. Is, and out of bounds across the 15-yard line. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. offense set to begin their next possession. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Oh my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. For Buccaneers seven, Eagles nothing. So after the sack here, second and 14. from the gun it's Brady and they're not able to hook up there incomplete and Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays yeah they get the sack on first down then they force an incomplete pass now they're just a play away from getting the football right back but it's a big play they've got to hold up Brady. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch, too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it, though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. play action now it's Brady and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down well, I think that was good strategy there trying to go right back to him after the last completion but this time the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten again Brady and they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35 a gain there of 30 big ones first down Buccaneers they fake the handoff now Brady 
This is caught. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Number 13, Mike Evans with his second touchdown here in this first half as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. The kickoff for Tampa Bay. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Tackled by Undomica. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And they'll get this out quickly to Goodwin. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Eagles on third down. Just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Working from the gun, Wentz. That's complete to a speedy wideout, Goodwin. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now the Bucs are going to use the first of their timeouts. He was brought it's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On second and goal, Wentz. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Wentz going to throw. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. From eight yards out. And the Eagles have cut it back within a score. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. Into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 at the 24. yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On first and 10, here's Brady. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line.
Gun, it's Brady looking for Godwin and he's got him complete and able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40 back to back receptions for him and it's another first down back to back good plays have him on the move on first down Shotgun now for Brady. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Brady to throw on third and one. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. It's a 47-yard field goal try from here. But instead, they're going to opt to go for it on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Brady. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. zone it's Brady escaping the pressure right incomplete yeah that one sailed on him you've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted they'll make the circus catches but they make them out of bounds that does you no good Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Tom Brady, his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to Makes the score Buccaneers 21, Eagles 7. Bradley Pinion to kick off. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Uh, we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because... Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Shotgun now for Wentz. Taken down. Back at his own seven. 
And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. Fields this way up at the 17. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Meanwhile, the throw by Brady knocked away incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for, and it's third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. On play action, it's Brady. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. First down. Wait, that's 380. Fournette, a first down carry. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. What a play there by Fletcher Cox to get in and knock him down behind the line. On play action, now Brady. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Well, that play certainly took a long time, and that's why a lot of coaches in training camp use a whistle or a horn at about three seconds because they want the ball to hand to the quarterback. They want the play to develop quickly and get the ball downfield. This one had to go over five seconds holding on to the football, and then he ends up getting hit, and they have an incompletion. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. So good coverage there defensively as it looks like they'll force a punt on this opening drive of the third. Well, let's coach them up a little bit from right here in the booth. That's exactly what they needed to do. They need to start stringing together some stops, turning the ball over back to their offense, and trying to get back into this game. Yeah, a couple scores down, but they can eat into that quickly with a nice drive here on the other side. complete and he's going to be out of bounds but not before he takes it inside the 40 it's a first down his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half so from philadelphia territory now here's a first and 10 at the 39 yard line brady gives this one off to jones the tackle there by craven leblanc in the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. A 
again it's Jones looking to find a lane but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage two runs in a row but only two yards to show for it and it's third down Throwing his Brady on third down. He's got Evans. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And the Buccaneer first down. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. But not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Third down, Fournette. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. The ball's still a few inches shy of the marker after the three-yard run, so now a little soul-searching on fourth down. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. They'll go with Jones. So following the failed try on fourth down will change ends and change possession. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. First and ten. Here's Wentz. Yeah, he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And the ball is knocked out. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B. One starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Got to figure now after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. 
Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard. It's that. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. At the one-yard line. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Bucs capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. So they went for it from the one on fourth and goal, and they got it done. Is this the new NFL? Is this is the new NFL. This is the updated NFL, and I like it. I know that quarterbacks across the league have spent the entire offseason and even during the season lobbying their coaches to go for it more on fourth down. Let's go get it, because nowadays you've got to score points to win games in the NFL. You can't just rely on your defense to hold them. I think the quarterbacks want to eliminate field goals inside of 30 yards, probably. Well, listen, they have enough confidence in themselves that they can call plays and make plays that they won't need those field goals inside the 30. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. You like that, don't you? All game long. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson, 70 yards. And the Eagles get a score closer. You gotta understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you. Rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three-score lead. Now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late. But they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. And a short kick taken at about the 16. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 25-yard line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Operating from the gun. Brady looking downfield for... It got his man complete. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. Well, that's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. And it seemed like they may be giving up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. at the line this Philly offense set to go and last time the formula was pretty simple one play drive long pass that maybe they just want to do that again right and that's exactly how you want to draw up try to get it to Jackson and it's intercepted he's picked off just shy of midfield and the return comes to a halt right at the 44 yard line if they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. But look at the lead. Look at the deficit. Trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. 
A shotgun give to Fournette. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Davion Taylor there to bring him down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a couple on the ground there. That's going to bring up third and about six. A two-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. First down line at the 34 here on third down. Now Brady. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Three yards all they can muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. It's now fourth down. Brady going to go on fourth down. Man open left side is Brown. Brady now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now Leonard Fournette. And nothing but green grass here. Middle of the field. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as these guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something. Some up. On Wentz is intercepted yet again. Picked by Antoine Winfield, Jr. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. Interception. Facing this fourth quarter deficit, felt like they had to throw the ball, and on the other side, they were ready. No doubt about it. They're playing situational football. They look at the clock, they know the lead that they have, and all they're doing is playing pass on every down. Playing the pass, picking it off, and now big time in the driver's seat. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and 10 at the 45. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. So after the INT, it's Brady. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Brown. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 
We got four. 50 seconds. Reload. Now a play fake. Brady. And Ooh. this is caught at the eight. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder, what's their motivation? Because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not in their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Taken from about the 12. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. At their own 24-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo. Exactly. Going Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal and never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling no again. you don't want that feeling again and who knows you may meet up with this team again buccaneers 49 a big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory and the defensive guys